it's raw, it's unfiltered. It can get a little crazy and a little loud, but that's what we wanted. So we kept it that way because it's real. Warning, warning, warning. Sound to sound to sound. You about to hear, to hear, to hear, to hear, to hear, to hear. I date multiple dudes. It's fun. I love it. I get to see what I like, what I don't like, who I could be with, who I won't ever be with, like all of that. Like, so I believe in dating multiple people. I'm here for it. in a mate in a spouse someone that say god damn she done been through enough let me be, let me be her. that person for once to show her uh -huh. that there is something different the way my husband is gonna level up because of me right come on now I have stayed too long in relationships. Like I know that I've seen like red flags and I would be like, oh, you know, that's just, they had a bad day, you mm -hmm. know, blah, blah, blah. They'll get over it and you know, it'll get better. Mm -hmm. And I just stay, stay, stay. Seriously, marriage is a beautiful thing. Right. It really is. Being married is a beautiful thing. But again, I would touch on it takes both the people to make it work. Right. Make it work or you're not gonna make it work. And also, because of how I seen stuff going up, I had low self esteem <laughs> and low self worth. I didn't really believe I was worthy enough to stay with somebody that was going to be there good for me. Guys always ask, you know, or you're too damaged. Or in the comments, like you're too damaged. You know, you're bitter, broken. Huh. What do you do? You think? Oh, well, obviously, y'all insecurities. But what do you think your insecurities are that you're not taking or you're not married yet? I we think all it's have insecurities. Them. It's not me. You, Toya Boo. Not, it's not, not you gonna blame everything? It's <laughs> <on. laughs> not me. It's not, it's not, it's not me. Right. It's not one thing. thing. Well, I have. I, I, I would say. I would say that um, I have stayed too long in relationships. Like I know that I've seen like red flags, and I would be like, "Oh, you know, that's just they had a bad day, you mm -hmm. know, blah blah blah." They'll get over it, and you know, it'll get better. Mm -hmm. And I just stay, stay, stay. But it never does. Yeah. So I think that my it's problem settled. has been yeah. So but why mm. you settled? Mm -hmm. Because because it was thought. yeah. Well, I know at that time, like you know, feelings had already developed. Yeah. It was the potential. 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 Yeah. Potential. Yeah. Potential. Yeah. 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 And I had got, her. and especially if you had like history with that person, like mm -hmm. you were friends with them first. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, I know yeah. you're a good person, but right. it's like, okay, mm -hmm. you know, we can work through it. I just always would stay and say, well, you know, they have good potential. You know, he could be a good husband, blah blah yeah. blah, because he has good qualities. Right. But it just wasn't. And never manifested. Yeah, yeah. I think I stayed a lot or with situations because because of my insecurities of being single for too long. So because I like I. And you're a good guy, you know. Okay, you pissed me off with this, but that it's about compromise, right? That's what marriage is about, or isn't it? So I can compromise you not calling me because you made it because you made it home over, or I can compromise you being rude sometimes because this outweighs that. So because of the quote unquote shortage of good men, well, his good outweighs his bad. So it's all right, we can work on it. I can compromise this when once I got out of it, I was settling because because of the That's insecurity it. that I had mm -hmm. of being single for too long mm -hmm. or for, you know, or like, honestly, yeah, being scared to be, yes. you know, to go back into the dating game. Cause it's like, scared. damn, now I gotta yeah. start back over, mm -hmm. meet this guy. Like I was, I was good. I was comfortable. Like right. I was fine. Like he, he every, everything looks good on paper with him. Right. Like mm -hmm. it looks good, but am I really happy? Exactly. Right? Or can I really see myself with you? down the line. Mm -hmm. So that was like, that's an insecurity or that's the reason why I think, you know, I'm still single and yeah, I tend to settle. I think a lot of us yeah. settle. Well, I mean, I, for me, I know I've, I settled. Mm -hmm. And for mine, it was also just the fear of being single for too long because all, all, at the time, all my friends, literally, Girl. I had a group of like six of us, they was getting married, they was getting engaged, they were having babies. I was like, babies, right. I'm sitting on my couch and like, ain't nobody be shy. Me. I was like, I'm in charge. Yeah, you decent. I mean, yeah. you, you know, what I mean, you look okay beside me, so I make right. it work. Whatever, but mm -hmm. I think it's also because 
where I was at the time, I didn't love myself enough. So I felt even if God would have showed me that perfect man, mm-hmm. I, I wasn't was ready. I would have been like, I wasn't ready for him. He's lame. Yeah. He so I was like, if he showed me, I wouldn't be able to take it because I'd have been yeah. like, yeah, it's not going to work out. Yeah. So mine was, I settled and I wasn't yeah. in love with myself enough. I didn't recognize right. my worth. So I was right. like, right. he's yeah. cool. He'll do. You know, yeah. he's a plus one going to a wedding with somebody. I got my name. Right. Plus. So that for yeah. me was, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's my thing too. I used to feel like, well, I, I, don't, I guess you can, I won't say make yourself single, but I stayed single because for a long time, because I felt that I was too damaged. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I don't want to, I didn't want somebody to play on my emotions. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not that open with certain things. So if I feel like I'm telling you that part of who I am, mm-hmm. you mean a lot to me. Right. right? Mm-hmm. And I don't mm-hmm. want someone to, turn that and throw it back at me to right in the right. So that's why I was like, uh, maybe I don't want to date just shit mm-hmm. because I don't want that feel like I'm damaged enough. I've been through enough. Right. I don't want someone who I'm potentially have fallen for to come back and use that okay. to hurt me yeah. more. Mm-hmm. So that's why I was like, uh, sometimes I'd be like, maybe I'm just to stay by myself because right, right. Yeah. if you true. want a guy and I tried to date a guy and that was you know my last words to him when we broke up and I said you are a great guy and I told him I said you're a great guy you a bit like I would look at you as like my best friend because when I call you you're there when I need certain mm-hmm. things you will drop it and you will come I said but you don't know how to bring that into dating. Mm-hmm. I said, you a good friend, but you are a horrible yeah. boyfriend. Yeah. You don't know how to date. Yeah. You don't know how to be with someone. Mm-hmm. And I said, I feel like you know so much about me and I've let you in on so much. So I feel like at what point do you say, let me be this girl's peace. Mm-hmm. Let me show her something oh, different. Hey, she she give me chills. Me chills. <laughs> and like, that's what I want in a mate, in a spouse, someone to just say, God damn, she done been through enough. Let me be, Let me be her. that person for once to show her mm-hmm. that there is something different. Mm-hmm. I don't want to have to be the next yes. person. Yes, exactly. Right. I, mean, I don't know if men think like that or, I mean, it may be something I, 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 I have. I don't want to say I have it because I have. Right. <laughs> and um, he Deceased now. That was my oh, everything. So, girl, we said we are not crying. <laughs> you will not do that. <laughs> girl, you are not crying. Y'all know I'm not crying. I'm not going to cry, but I've been counting that, and I don't know, I just feel like that's one I won't ever get back. So I think that's a part of why it takes me so long to to date, too, because yeah. I'm, I don't want to say I'm looking for him, yeah. but I'm looking for someone that can at least give me some of those yeah, things. Yeah. Right. I experience that. Right. Yeah. 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 Nobody ever lives up to that. Because mm-hmm. yeah. he and I don't want to even say compare that standard. It's just yeah. like, just he's a great guy. Yeah. Right. And it's like, damn, shit. Jesus. Give me a little something. Right. Hey, right. Bring them hey, back. Bring come, back. On. Yeah. come on, reincarnation. Right. <laughs> reincarnation. <laughs> right. <laughs> because yeah. it just, it's like, I don't know what the hell. You live down here, but shit. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Well, did it teach you anything or you know did it bring anything else out of you like she said it taught me self love and it taught me self validation mm. um, uh. when I was with him I was damaged but he did take the time to get to know me uh. and he uh. took the time to uh. allow me to uncover because uh. like I said I don't talk and he knew like it took me a long but once he broke those barriers down I was able to trust him more yeah. uh, but I was also able to give him more of me mm-hmm. but after that it's like I was still loving him like I'm a giver mm-hmm. um, about nature when mm-hmm. I nurtured so I was catered to him I nurtured mm-hmm. him um, and just the satisfaction of him being happy made me happy yeah. but it, after losing him I realized Toya you always you be, I became happy mm-hmm. because they were happy mm-hmm. What the things that I wanted I always put on the back burner oh it's okay yeah. we'll do it later or whatever yeah. because you're happy yeah. and I'm cool right. and so by nature women we are adapters and that's yeah. one thing I learned 
to stop being adaptable to all situations because we can mm-hmm. easily adapt to a lot of yeah, things. Absolutely. Yeah, so I learned absolutely. to stop being adaptable, mm-hmm. self-validation, and self-love. Yeah. And if I can get those three things for me, mm-hmm. right, that right. man, when he does come, mm-hmm. or when I do right. find the right no. one, mm-hmm. it'll be that undeniable attraction. Right. Right. Yes. But if I can't get mm-hmm. that, hey, I can't be good for you either. For you. Right. Exactly. Right. Because I haven't gotten that from Right. That's a, that's a word. Oh, that's a word. That's a word. Soulmate, do, you, do you believe soulmates exist? Yeah. I, mean, I, yeah. believe, I, believe, I believe we have multiple soulmates. I believe it. Oh, I think we have multiple soulmates. I don't think it's just one person. I think we have multiple soulmates. I absolutely and honestly mm. believe in that. Because I've had connections with people where it was just like, damn, like mm-hmm. I just met you. Right. right. But this is like lit. so right. Mm-hmm. We know who, but we don't, <laughs> we don't leave him nameless. <laughs> Men do football.